week three of the fantasy football season. And here's a few defense CST units. I looked at off the wire this week. The first one, the Seattle Seahawks. So the Seahawks went in Detroit, got the job done. And their defense actually made some plays, even though they gave up 31 points in that one. Two sacks, an interception, two fumble recoveries, a pick six. So right now, Seattle, they got a good matchup versus Carolina Panthers. A young team for the most part. Not many weapons on offense. Miles Sanders, Adam Thielen, DJ Chark, if he's going to play in this ball game next week. But anyway, Seattle available right now in 92% of fantasy leagues. And they're more of a streaming option this week, like I mentioned, versus a young Carolina Panther team, obviously, with the rookie Bryce Young and quarterback. So if you need a streaming defense, or if you just stream defenses in general, which a lot of people do, obviously, they're definitely a good option next week, I believe, Seattle. And even versus a high-powered offense, they had a good ball game in week two, so go out there and get them this week. The next defense, the Jacksonville Jaguars. So the Jags, they pretty much have played pretty solid so far, I believe, the first couple weeks. In terms of points allowed, week one in Indianapolis being 15 points allowed, four sacks and info, two fumble recoveries in that one. And then week two versus Kansas City, only 17 points allowed versus that offense, a sack and interception and two fumble recoveries. So right now, week three, a good matchup versus the division rival, the Houston Texans. Jacksonville, they'll take advantage of that, obviously, with C.J. Stroud. We know he's a talented quarterback, but there's going to be growing pains, and the weapons aren't that great as well over there for this Houston team. So after coming off a tough loss and a pedestrian offense for Jacksonville, I think their defense is going to step up once again in this ball game. Like I said, it's a good matchup, division rival versus rookie quarterback C.J. Stroud. And they're available right now in tons of fantasy leagues, and 85%. Jacksonville this week, the next defense, DSTs, the Kansas City Chiefs, so the Kansas City Chiefs, we know their defense is in the middle of the pack type of D, we know their secondary isn't great, but now with Chris Jones back in the mix, he definitely made an impact in week two for this Kansas City team, and week three here, they got the Bears coming to town with Justin Fields so far, it looks like he's regressed a little bit, holding the ball once again a little bit too long, and the offensive line not being that good over there as well in Chicago, so the first few weeks here for Kansas City, Week one versus Detroit, 15 points allowed, a sack of fumble recovery. And week two with Jacksonville, they held them down, nine points allowed, four sacks, and a fumble recovery. So week three here with Justin Fields coming to town in Arrowhead. I think it's going to be a long day for Justin Fields. I know this Chief defense isn't the greatest, but obviously with a great offense, if you go up 10, 14 points early, you're going to make an offense one-dimensional, and that's what this defense wants to be, getting in positions like that. So right now with a favorable matchup, and a team available DST-wise here in 61% of fantasy leagues. I would give the Chiefs an ad this week. The next one's the Cincinnati Bengals. So the Bengals so far are off to a slow start. And last season as well, they got off to the slow start before. They went on a tear, winning 13 out of 15 ball games. So right now, week three, mediocre matchup versus the Los Angeles Rams. I know this Ram team, guys have come out of nowhere this season. Like Nakua, Tutu Atwell, and Kyron Williams. A lot of young players. Cooper Cup, obviously, had a few more weeks. On um, Monday Night Football, I think this Bengal team, obviously, in a must-win ball game pretty much here. You don't want to start the season 0-3 because not many teams have made the playoffs, if at all, starting at that spot. But anyway, Monday Night Football, home ball game here. Cincinnati coming off two divisional losses and I think this defense could get right versus the Rams I know Matthew Stafford he's a veteran quarterback and he has a Super Bowl on the wrist belt but also he's a gunslinger and he still has inexperienced receivers even on the core of the first two weeks and two two outwells playing good in Tyler Higby but right now I think this Bengal team could cause some damage in this ball game and they're available right now Cincinnati and 55 percent of fantasy leagues in the fifth and final defense DST unit I looked at it off the wire this week here is the Minnesota Vikings. So the Vikings, I know their defense hasn't looked good the last few weeks here. But I think at home, they can make this Charger offense make a few mistakes here. So right now, week one versus Tampa, 20 points allowed a sack. And week two with Philly, 34 points allowed, four sacks. And then Ninto. So right now, this Charger team, so far, they've looked good offensively for the most part. But I think Herbert in this ball game can make a few turnovers. And this is more of a defense that's still a work in progress of the new defensive coordinator over there in Flores, the former Miami Dolphin coach. But anyway, Minnesota this week, I think, could be a decent option in desperation and deeper leagues. But obviously, in your basic 12-14 team leagues, they might not be an option. But a defense to see as the season goes on, because like I said, Brian Flores, he's a solid defensive coordinator. 
So that's a few defense DST units I look to add here off the wire in week three of the fantasy football season.